Just a heads up, you'll get a lot more out of this tutorial if you wear headphones. Let's get started. So this is how my voice sounds with no adjustments right out of the camera. And this is how my voice sounds with a few post-production tweaks. So without further ado, let's learn how to improve our audio. So many people like to vlog, talk to the camera, voice over, and just like myself, I don't have a recording studio or I'm outside and the conditions are less than ideal. I'm always on the road in various Airbnbs and never have a consistent place to record video. For example, this room right here is just a plain echoey room, not great for recording. However, with a few post-processing tips, we can greatly improve how our voice sounds. Firstly, if you have a mic for your camera, just take it off your camera and bring it closer to you. The closer your voice is to the microphone, the better your audio sounds. Also, I have this 15 foot long cord so I can take the mic off the camera and bring it closer to me. Make sure the cord has two stripes on it and not three because the two stripes are for microphones and the three stripes are for headphones plugging into your computer. Now there are a few things that might seem obvious but are definitely worth mentioning before you start recording. Number one is plug in your headphones to your camera and just check the sound in the room. See if there is noise going on. Maybe there's a fridge, an air conditioner, something that can be turned off temporarily while you record your audio. And again, bring your mouth as close as you can to the microphone, especially if you're doing voiceover. Bring your gain down to minus eight to minus 10 decibels, and that will eliminate a lot of the background sounds in your voiceover. All right, let's jump into the editor and learn some post-processing tips to help us fix that hiss, the buzz, our voice quality, and any other audio issues and effects that we want to adjust and add to our sound. Let's go. Jumping over to the editor now, here is a sound bite. So here's a sample of my voice that I'm going to be using just to edit the tutorial with. So I'll just talk about my gear here. All right, first thing I like to do is head over on the side menu to the 10 band equalizer. Click here and I like to just bring down some of the high frequencies and the treble in our voice and raise the bass in our voice. This is just an overall more appealing sound. So next up, we want to add a compressor and a compressor raises the low volumes and brings down the high volumes. So you can find the compressor over on the side menu and just drag it onto the clip and leave it in the default settings. Here's an example. Micro Video Pro Rode Mic, a MacBook Pro 16 inch. Now, since it raised up the low volumes, it also added a lot of noise into the clip. So we're gonna go through two steps to reduce that extra type of white noise. So firstly, adding the channel EQ, we're gonna bring down the really low frequencies on this side. And then on the high frequencies, we'll bring those down as well. Now, there's not much freedom in those far end. So we'll bring down the second section for the high end and the second section for the low end. That should remove some static from our audio. And next up, we're going to head over to noise gate. Now, let's drag a noise gate onto our clip. Here's what the default setting sounds like. Uh, HDMI cable plugged into the TV in this room that I'm staying at. So clearly the default settings are way too strong, but what that's doing, it's removing all sound in between when I'm talking, in between speech. And the way we can fix that is to go to our parameters, bring the reduction down to minus 20 instead of 100, and then also bring the release to one second or a thousand milliseconds. This will delay the speed at which the effect takes place. Now let's listen. Micro Video Pro Rode Mic, a MacBook Pro 16 inch, uh, HDMI cable plugged into the TV in this room that I'm staying at. Okay, that sounds much better and has removed the noise from the clip. Next up, I like to add a bass enhancer to the clip, but it is not entirely necessary because if we look at the bars, you can see there how it's just raising the lower decibels. So instead of an adding a bass enhancer, if you like, we can just delete that and go back up to our equalization and just raise it manually ourselves. That will add more bass into our voice and sounds much more appealing. Micro Video Pro Rode Mic. All right, that's sounding better. However, there's still plenty of reverb or echo. And the way we remove that is with the Enveloper plugin. Drag that onto our clip. And we want to select the Room Killer right here. And the default settings are pretty bad. So we need to make adjustments. So you'll need to make adjustments according to your clip. However, these are the settings that I like to begin with. Bringing down the attack time, bringing down the release time, uh, bringing up the release gain to about minus 14 or so, threshold to halfway, and then the out level down to around minus three. 
Again, you need to just do the settings that work for you as I just keep playing with them until I found something that removes the room echo entirely. Micro Video Pro road mic, a MacBook Pro 16 inch uh, HDMI cable, and the room echo has improved. Okay, let's go and listen to the before. So let's uncheck these effects and listen to the raw audio. Micro Video Pro road mic, a MacBook Pro 16 inch uh, HDMI cable plugged in. So before we listen to the finished product, we want to do one final adjustment. We want to make sure that our audio levels, decibel levels are between minus six and minus 12. As you can see here, the sounds are peaking up to zero. So if we just bring down the decibel level to, let's say minus four up here, somewhere in that area, let's see now how it sounds. Micro Video Pro Road Mic, a MacBook Pro 16 inch uh, HDMI cable plugged into the TV in this room that I'm staying at in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. All right, that's much better, and our audio levels are falling right where we want them to be. Since that was a lot of work, we don't want to be doing that every single time. We just want to create our own plugin and save our own effects. So we save effect preset right here, uncheck volume since we want to adjust that custom every time. But as we can see, we have our four things. We can name it Mark Voice Audio. When we go into the bottom there, we can just type in Mark and find our custom preset, drag it on our clip, and there we go. This video is brought to you by Storyblocks, a stock asset website with affordable subscriptions and unlimited royalty-free downloads. And not many people know, but there's a large collection of sound effects. Under this tab, you can see the various categories. You can also go to collections where you can search by different themes, for example, underwater sound effects. Let's listen to a few here. Let's type in whoosh for another example. Storyblocks. Check the link in the description for more information. Next, we're going to look at some fun effects that we can add to our voice to give different sort of vibes to our video. We have the muffled sound effect. This should muffle my voice for whenever I'm in the cold space or under the water, etc. Also used on music. This is my dark voice effect. We can use this for using something scary or just like a meme often used in interviews when people don't want their face or voice recognized. Next we have the cathedral. When I want to echo and yell and say, whoa, whoa, whoa boom, etc. That wraps it up for today's video. If that did help at all, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I'm always uploading new tutorials as I learn. I'm going to be updating you guys so you can learn along with me. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about my workflow tips, ways to speed up your process, be more efficient, and cut down on editing time. That being said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog or tutorial. Bye.